after the NSAS protest, uh, you know, a lot of the youth were angry at what had happened, and rightfully so. And there were different conversations, you know, going on all over Nigeria, and especially on the social media spaces. And uh, I remember one day having a conversation with Reno Odwala, and she was like, what if there is a voting block? What if uh, citizens come together and be able to have a voice to say, this is who we vote for and take that on? I was like, wow, what a fantastic idea. It really would mean something. But over time, as we went on, it looked as if it was going to be an impossible task. I mean, there are people that don't know that's not possible. People can come together. But today, see where we are. What is happening today with the obedient movement? It's actually people coming together and forming that uh, voting block. The youth are doing that. And so to every one of us, and especially those of you who are championing the obedient movement, don't look at this as if this is something that has to do with Labour Party or even Peter Obi himself. Look at this as this is a voting block that can decide the future of Nigeria, not just today, 2022 alone, but 50 years from now. So that when you're talking about things like 2072, you'll be like, wow, Nigerians decided that they will be now be the ones who will be deciding who are the people who will get into office. So this is something that is so huge that can lead to us getting a nation that we are deserving of. Every country that you see, they all had this kind of moment that they took charge of their country, where the people took charge and they went, went on with it. In every country that you see, the ones that today we look, we, we look at and we, are, we see them as a first world country, developed country and all of that, they had their dark doom of corruption, of a few people holding the country uh, 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 at, in ransom, holding it to ransom, in their pocket, doing all sorts of things that they want to. And then the masses coming together and understanding that they can unite on issues, sort of like forming that voting block and doing the needful. It's what it is that always, always change the trajectory of a country. And so as Nigerians today, we are at that level also. So please look at it and look at the and, and remember that you are the one who is going to change this Nigeria. Change it for good. Take Nigeria to the level it ought to have been years ago. Build a country that it's people that will be jackpotting to Nigeria. People that will want to come here and work hard and get the citizenship of Nigeria. People who want to send who want to send their children to Nigeria. People who want to come to Nigeria for medical health care uh, services. Not the one that our president will be the one going to other countries. Or potential uh, presidential candidates going out to go for treatment. No, that we have confidence in Nigeria because Nigeria will be the great country that it's meant to be. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. Keep going on. It doesn't matter whether anybody is saying it or not saying it. Definitely, Nigeria is saying it and will reap the value of what you're doing right now. And generations not yet born will, uh, will reap that value of the seeds that you're sowing today. Thank you so much.